So Galactin-3 is really seen as the pilot light for overactive inflammation in the body, and that also includes overactive immune responses. So really at the headwaters of the autoimmune cascade, of the cytokine cascade, really triggering all of the downstream cytokines that fuel inflammation throughout the body and fuel the process of inflammation to fibrosis, so the hardening of tissues, which eventually ends in organ failure. So if you're wondering if any inflammatory condition is driven by galactin-3, you can do a literature search in PubMed or Google Scholar, and you're likely to find one or more studies clearly showing that galactin-3 is a driving factor in that inflammatory condition, and that includes acute conditions like COVID, as well as pretty much any long-term inflammatory condition from neurodegenerative conditions and all the way down to cancer. It's a biomarker for heart disease. In 2011, the FDA approved it as a biomarker for heart failures.